Scotland. And despite the constant downpour, the fans were treated to an entertaining match. The home side had the first clear-cut chance when a Chris Clark run gave Richard Foster the opportunity to break the deadlock. But his shot went straight to Speroni, he parried clear. Four minutes later, it was Clark himself who tried to repeat his goal-scoring feats of the previous week, but his efforts went narrowly wide. The Dons were piling on the pressure and nearly went ahead in the 20th minute. Firstly, Anderson's header was saved well by Speroni, and Scott Booth failed to control his shot, you could say. Both sides were passing the ball well on the sodden surface, and some lovely build-up play from Dundee's strikers gave defender Dave Mackay a great chance. Maybe that's why he's a defender. Just after the half hour, a long searching ball over the Aberdeen defence was picked up by Nacho Novo, who neatly outmaneuvered Russell Anderson, cut inside and drilled a shot that was well saved by Priest. Now, does anyone remember Russell Anderson's opener against Partick Thistle last week? Well, in an identical move, Dundee suffered the same fate as the big centre half made it three in two games from Scott Morrison's free kick. Just two minutes later, the Dons were forced to take off defender Xander Diamond. Before his replacement got into position, Tom Hutchison got in the end of a high ball floated into the penalty area to equalise for Dundee. Just six minutes into the second half, the Dark Blues took the lead. A free kick into the box was nodded on by Lee Wilkie, and Nacho Novo flicked it into the net. Route one for the Dens men, and Novo took his season's tally to 16. Ten minutes later, Novo turned from Saint to Sinner as his loose pass allowed Lee Hines to draw the ball low past Baroni. A good finish from the ex-Clyde hitman who proves Hines means business. With more than 20 minutes remaining, Dundee had a big shout for a penalty when Sancho hit the deck in the box. But referee Mike McCurry said no, and Brent's bad day at the office was compounded by receiving a yellow card. We go through one up at the start of the second half. I must admit, I felt quietly confident we could go away with the three points. But we made uh, a couple of silly mistakes and obviously a deflection. So I think over the piece of treach was probably a fair result. The, the positive thing for me today was that we, we went behind and in past games we've folded there in the season and we showed a lot of character to, to get back in the game and, and then you know keep pressing for the winner. Never came, but you know it was a, it was a much more encouraging uh, team performance than what, what I was getting earlier in the season.